What's up, everybody? I'm Mishpit7, back with another video. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to get mods for NR2003. Um, this video was inspired by my comment from TGRCA993993. Um, whoever this guy is, I, I don't know how to spell your username, sorry, bro. But, um, I'm going to be showing you how to download mods for NR2003. I don't know how to, if you want to, you can also look at my paint scheme, um, paint scheme, um, how to make a paint scheme video. But, um, after you make that paint scheme, I will show you guys how to, like, put the paint schemes into uh, NR2003. So let's first of all start off with uh, getting mods. So you're wanna gonna get a new tab. You're gonna wanna search up NR2003. Just NR2003. You wanna click this site right here. NR2003. Link would be in the description by the way. Just in case you guys struggle to find it, or you're just lazy. Mm, I'm not trying to be mean or anything. But, um, now, go to mods. And you can look for the next gen mod, but since it's like new, the newest mod, it'll be up here. Or one of the newest. Now, you're gonna want to click the mod file right here and all you're gonna do is hit download now it should be downloading in a zip file so since it's already downloaded i'm gonna go here and go to my files hit downloads now i'm going to click on the file click extract all or if it's not up here you can just um right click Yep, right click, and it should say right here. So extract all, extract. Once that bad boy is completed, you can uh, mm, uh, minimize this. You wanna go here and you see the, the zipped file, you see this is the normal file. This one's zipped, you kinda wanna go ahead and delete that thing, cause we don't like that. Now, we have the files, like all right here. I'm gonna delete this one real quick. So you wanna double click this, double click that. Make sure everything's in here. So you wanna hit back arrow. So then you're gonna wanna go to this one, control C, or just to make sure you copied it, you're gonna go right click. So right click, show more options, and copy. Now you're gonna go to this PC, and whichever whichever one of these you've installed it in, I installed it into this one. You're gonna want to double click Papyrus and R2003, and where you get where you see series right here, you want to double click that bad boy. You're gonna Control V, or you are gonna do um, right click, show more options, and paste. I'm going to replace it because why not? Now that I replaced it, I'll go ahead and go to here. And I'll just on the tree. Boom. Just going to hit yes there. Alright. Now, the game should be loading. If not, I'm going to double click it again. Alright, here we go. Now, you should be on to your NASCAR Cup Series. Now, if you look at the very bottom, you should see Active Series. You want to see, um... Arrows, click the arrow. Um, since I have mods already, I'm gonna click it to this. 
You should see this. Now you've officially got the mod. To test this thing out, you wanna hit single race. Uh, I'm gonna use Daytona. Hit continue. Oh, oh, actually before, before that, my bad. For some reason there's bugs in the mod, so to fix a bug, you're gonna go here. Um, it's not in here, so you go to your options. You wanna go to advanced. No, 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 no. Graphics, okay, graphics. You wanna see shadows, you wanna delete everything in here. Dirty soup, hit done. Single race. Let's do it in quick race. If I have your flags for one. I am, it should work. your mod everything. but now um let's go down the schemes so before i show you guys the schemes if you don't know how to and you want to change your car number you want to go all the way back to the main player info and just click that arrow um I just click random ones and personally i do kyle bush because i'm a kyle bush fan but yeah that's how you do that now you want schemes so i'm gonna do control alt all right now that you exit out your game um now you're gonna want to go back to the um mods or i'll have my video in the description on how to make schemes if you want to go ahead and do that but once you get your scheme which i'm gonna go to here um I'm gonna use this one. So I'm gonna do the eight car scheme. For example. So um you're gonna look for the scheme. Actually let me go to like one of my saved schemes. I might have one. I think I have one saved. Let me go back to I'll just do the Xfinity. Did the two car. Okay. So that is the Daytona set. Alright. I'll come back when I find a scheme. Alright. So I figured out how to get the scheme, so I'm just gonna um get this for example. I'ma have a file there. I'm gonna do this. Pia and a dog sin. For some reason it doesn't work directly for me, but this is how I do it. So I'm just gonna make my scheme real quick, so I'll be right back when it's done. Alright, now that I got my scheme, I'm just going to um export it as a um J uh I think it's a JPEG. Yeah, you do a JPEG. Make sure it's a JPEG because it won't work. <clears throat> but now that you saved it as a JPEG, now you're gonna go to your files. You wanna go to um, NR2003. You wanna go to um, go to your um, uh, let me see, exports, imports. Then you're gonna control V. Oops, I forgot. I gotta grab the JPEG. You're gonna copy if I could. Copy it. Go back to it. Control V. And boom. Now this is in. So what you want to do now. Is you want to right click it again. Um, you're going to want to find the rename button. Pretty sure. 
I think it's fine. I think it would be fine. So it, just do that. Do it that way. Now just go back to your um, game. Double click papyrus. All right. Now load up the game again. Yes. Go back. Uh, since I use the uh, um, cups, the NASCAR cup uh, regular scheme, I'm just gonna go to here. Go to player info. <clears throat> so I'm gonna player. No, don't go to player. Go to opponent manager. Then you're gonna hit paint shot, and you're gonna import. And when you see this, I think this is it. Hit OK. Um, actually, that's not the one I got. So. Okay, hang on. Okay, so I figured out. So you're meant to save it as a TGA. So you're supposed to go to export as more. The TGA. Okay, save. Now, you can go to your downloads or whatever you had. You're gonna hit the um TGA file. If I could find it right here, TGA. I'm gonna copy it. Gonna you're gonna go to your exports and imports. I have it right here because for some reason it just says which is cool. And once you've reached your exports imports, I'm going to show you once again how to get to it in case you are confused. I'm going to go to your thing, exports, imports right here, and control V, or you can just do paste by doing this over here. Now we have it. We can, I'm going to close my game real quick. Or maybe it would work. Okay, it worked. Okay. So I'm, I'm gonna. You see this right here? You can also rename the file if you want to. I found it right here. I should. Have my 18 and stuff right here. You're gonna want to hit save. Hit okay, done. And then you're gonna hit done again. Or you can change all this stuff up here if you want, but. That's, I'm just doing this for a tutorial to make it faster. Hit done. And yes. Now you're going to want to hit player info. And boom, it's right here. Or if you can't find it, it should be like, <clears throat> however the way you named it. So it should be like a f saying something like B S slash underscore something like that but oh yeah but um yeah that's how you make your schemes for well basically how you get a scheme into here I'm gonna find it again Hang on. yeah I don't know how I got it okay here we go. Well, that's another scheme I have. But if you guys like this video and want to see more, hit that subscribe button and like the video. Comment down if you um, have struggles or if it doesn't work. So I can probably find a way to make the video even better and make an improved one. But uh, yeah, without further ado, I'll see you guys in the future. Bye.